what's up you guys welcome back to annoyed talk thank you guys for tuning in i'm so excited because this episode is grand one being i have my girl stephanie here hey bae hey. why don't you introduce yourself to my supporters hello guys my name is stephanie espinal i'm an illustrator and makeup artist and an inspiring fashion designer so this girl has a lot going for herself. I'm telling you, a lot of you can actually look up to her because she is goals. I'm telling you, she's just beautiful. Like you, babe. She has, she's just everything. Okay. So today we're going to talk about how our day went today. What we did today, we went to an event that Bobby Brown came to. It was a May awesome. It was really awesome. Like yeah. she was talking about how her life went since she started doing makeup till today. So if you guys didn't know, this week is Women's Entrepreneur Week, which basically shows off women's empowerment in the business industry, which is phenomenal. It is amazing to see a woman can shit on a man because Hello, I mean, Hillary Clinton is trying to run for president. I mean, she better work, even though she's not getting my vote. But, you know, it shows something. So today um, was an awesome event at Montclair State University, which Bobby Brown came to show her beautiful face and talk about her whole life story. She pretty much started doing makeup, like, when she was living off her father's rent. She moved to New York and she was living with her boyfriend. And, well, her boyfriend was living with her. Pretty much because her dad was paying that rent. Right. <laughs> and you know, she was getting her life together and she was really collecting herself. She was doing freelance makeup. She really enjoyed doing natural looks on people, which was really great. Yeah. How would you relate to that, Miss Makeup Artist? I can definitely relate to her in a lot of ways. Um she does not use a lot of heavy foundation, which I love. I love the natural look. Yes, I love my contouring, you know, my highlight, but I definitely am very picky with my foundation. Yes, and a lot of the times, she was saying that her foundation has like a yellow undertone, yes. and that's what complements the human skin, yes. which I thought was really interesting because, you know, a lot of these other brands, I'm gonna sip that tea, um, have like pink undertones, mm. olive undertones and everything, but you know, she was really inspiring. She said a lot of things that I just sat there and I said wow like you are goals like it's really fascinating when you can actually sit there and listen to somebody's story and say wow and she was really real and I love that yeah her. she was really honest. yeah like yeah. she was just all about you know she spoke about her life when she was younger to now and it was just so inspiring like yeah. she was just real about it yeah. I loved it she started doing makeup like as theater makeup mm -hmm. like you know doing tiger faces like skeleton weird things like you know that creepy shit and it was it was really awesome you know like you gotta start somewhere you know what I mean like one day I'm having this YouTube channel now but one day I'm gonna have my own show and you're gonna be next to Prada next to Louis yeah. in God's willing God's yes willing. definitely yes Miss Church Lady um <laughs> wait hold up wait hold up Another thing that I really found really cool is that this girl has a lot going for her. Well, around our age, when she was our age, whatever. Um, and she was talking about that. She just woke up out of nowhere and said, I'm going to be a makeup artist. She made her own business cards. This was before cell phones existed. So she started looking through yellow pages and she was calling up makeup industry. She was calling up agencies, models, everything. And she was branding herself, which you have experience in. Yes, um, it can be very hard, honestly, but I feel like the way she handled it was very professional and very well. Yeah, definitely. She was basically doing free work at first because that's yep. pretty much what you have to do. Yeah. You have to make a brand for yourself. Who's going to know you can really do an amazing job without showing them? You know exactly. what I mean? So she started doing free work. She was even talking about she had dumbbells on her legs to do two things at one time, which I was like, fly. I the power, girl. You want to get them legs in shape? All right. But yeah, she was doing a lot of things yeah. for herself. And sooner than later, a lot of brands were picking her up. Vogue and CoverGirl and all these stuff were picking her up. And she was fascinating. And she blew up. One day, um, she said that she met up with a chemist and she told them like I want to make my own lipsticks and she said yeah I'm down I'll make them for you boo so that's what they did they linked up and they started making things together don't forget to mention she did say she only had five specific colored lipsticks which stood out to me and then later on she did expand and started doing more lipstick and different tones of color which I found very interesting that she picked specifically 10 
Yeah. And that comes with her natural look. She was very big with choosing different colors that complements the skin tone of your skin. You know, your face. Yeah, she was yeah. basically saying she doesn't really like the idea and maybe it's just her personal decision. Yeah. She doesn't like the idea of people dramatically changing their faces. She likes a natural look. She said to herself, women are beautiful as they are. Anybody that wears makeup is beautiful as they are. They don't need it. But if you want to feel 10 times prettier, beat that face, honey. Yes. <laughs> so she better work, honestly. She yeah. has a lot going for herself. Her two sons, um, one of them actually is a senior here at Montclair State yes. University, which we didn't get to see him, but we are yeah, we are, mm -mm, we gonna see who you are though. Mm. We gonna find some out because we some investigators might be. The other one is like he got his masters at mm -hmm. Stanford University, which go to you, go you baby, because that's a hard school to get into. So she closed the presentation with fabulous rules of life that she follows. So her rules were number one, work hard but smart. Number two, be nice. Number three, be fearless. Number four, never stop learning. Number five, stay positive. Number six, keep on reading. Number seven, surround yourself with positive people. Number eight, be grateful. And number nine, be open. And lastly, have fun. Yes. If you don't have fun, you're not loving what you're doing, then you're gonna be a miserable hub. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm totally grateful for everybody that's watching my channel and please just subscribe, like, and comment and follow our social media right here. All right, you guys. Bye, you guys. Mwah. Mwah.